All right, here we go. Um, so goal setting. Um, how many of you guys actually have goals in mind that you're looking to achieve at some point? Bunch of you? Okay. Thank you, Will. Um, so the first one we're going to talk about is going to be a long-term goal. So those are goals that are more for year to year or years down the road type things. Um, And it's just something for all short time, short term goals to. Uh, it's, it's the main purpose of the short term goals, basically. Does that makes sense. So. Uh, I will use. Uh, let's see who would be a good example to use. Um, I'll just use myself right now. As a long-term goal for me, I want my arm to stop hurting and actually throw BP for you guys. <laughs> for those of you that have seen my BP, it's not good. <laughs> those of you that haven't, just ask Jacob and Declan. Not good. Um, so that's like long-term goals. I'm hoping for that within a year or down the road that way. Does that make sense? Some of you can have longer. I eventually want to play college baseball at a high level, right? So that's the long-term goal as well. So from going on to that, now we go to the short-term goals. So all those short-term goals now that we're going to set ourselves up are more week to week, month to month, and they're always achievable. Does that make sense? Your long-term goal may not always be achievable. Right? Because I'm sure someone here is going to say Major League. They want to make it to the MLBs. Good on you. It may not be achievable with how many people in the world want to play. Does that make sense? But it's good to have that as a goal. You just got to understand now you got to go with your short-term goals and you have to make every single one of those achievable that is going to take you that's going to help you reach that long-term goal make sense so for me again i'll use my shoulder i want to throw bp what's the first thing i need to do well i found out i have a, a tear in my shoulder so now i gotta get healthy i gotta do i gotta do uh rehab it get it strong enough again and then start playing catch again that makes sense so getting healthy would be a short-term goal. As soon as that happens, that goal is, is now, now I adjust my goals. Okay, now I want to play catch. Okay. Once I can play catch, okay, now I want to throw farther. Okay. Next, next one, now I want to throw a bullpen. Now I want to throw a live. Now I want to throw in a game. Make sense? All these, it's all short-term goals that have to be achievable, right? Like, I apologize for Mr. Nicholas over there. I'm going to say if Nicholas says his short-term goal is he wants to be six feet tall by the end of the month, that's not achievable. Sorry, but <laughs> make sense? They have to be at achievable goals. Does anyone have any questions so far? No? None? All right. So, um, but again, no matter what, all these goals for short term, like, you can literally go week to week. Okay. This week, I want to be able to throw a better bullpen. I want to throw 75% strikes, right? Okay, I achieved that. Okay, next week. Okay, now I want to throw off speed for strikes more consistently. Does that make sense? So 
It's short-term goals that are very achievable. But all the focus needs to be on that. Right? Um, so basically, does anyone have an idea of what short-term goals basically means in, uh, in another term? What's one word I love to throw out there? Trust the process. Short-term goals is a process for your long-term goals. Does that make sense? Right? You guys should know that word was gonna come into effect here some soon. <laughs> um, other things, like you always have, Baseball goals, right? School goals, whatever goals you guys want, right? Baseball, like what's a goal for pitching? What's a goal for hitting? What's a goal? What's a goal for fielding? Make sense? Goals that uh, baseball-wise are what you're gonna look focus on when you're doing those type of drills, right? Or when we're doing drills to focus on stuff so that we can achieve, right? Um, like for example, I want to throw harder. Okay, what's a good, anyone know what a good way to throw harder is? What's up, Xander? Mechanics. Huh? Mechanics. Mechanics, yeah. Will says drive line. That too. What's one really important one? Jacob, I'm going to throw you under the bus. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe working hard, I guess. Pardon? Just working hard. Working hard. What was one thing you did a lot this fall that helped your arm speed? Long toss. There's the word. Long toss. Long toss, guys. When you want to throw harder, long toss will help you strengthen your arm. Make sense? Right? Oh, Tayden put in long toss. I didn't see that. My bad, Tayden. Maybe speak up. <laughs> um, hitting. Uh, like hitting goals. How do I hit the ball harder? What's up, Xander? Um, the back foot. Back foot, driving off of it, right? Mm -hmm. Carter? Uh, don't just use your arms, use your legs. Like, yes. And your hips, just like fire them through. Absolutely, 100%. Your power will get... <laughs> Your power comes from your legs. You can only hit so hard with your arms, right? That's a lot more for your guiding of your swing uh, and getting yourself on plane. But if you're looking to hit the ball harder, let alone farther, it's all in the legs, right? Legs, drive them. Yep. Nicholas keeps bringing up a good point. Uh, get stronger. <laughs> so in other words, work out. Um, all that type of stuff. Um, more goals. And I am absolutely going to elaborate on this because this is an important part, especially at such a young age. School goals. Right? What, what goals, you should have goals set for grades. What kind of average you want. Uh, 
courses and all that, right? Do you eventually want to get to grade 12 and be the smartest person in school and be the valedictorian, right? All that stuff does matter, because especially if you're looking to go on to play college baseball, the better the grades, the more options open up for yourself, you guys. The worse the grades, you have a slim ticket. You have not much options. Does that make sense? So I honestly wish I had known that more and was talked to more when I was your guys' age, because I probably would have tried harder. I had decent grades. My grades in college were much better than my high my grades growing up. Because when it's, once I was there, it mattered so much more. In school, you don't pass a class, you don't play. You pass a class, but you don't get the right GPA, you get kicked out of school. So those little things actually matter, right? So having good grades, 70s, 80s, 90s, right? We need to be able to have a, a goal of what grades we want. What kind of average do we want? Make sense? Right? Doing homework. Right? I grew up, uh, if I didn't do my homework or I wasn't doing well in school, baseball wasn't an option. Right? So, you guys got to understand that. I learned that at a younger age than you guys. And that came more and more true as the more I got older, especially once I got to college, right? Because if you don't have the grades, you don't get to play, plain and simple. It doesn't matter how good you are. Um, my second year of university, uh, we went all the way to the championship game and lost by like two runs. But in the fall, at the end of fall ball, we lost half our starting rotation, or not just our rotation, but half our starting lineup because they failed. They didn't get to play. So they didn't play in the season. They didn't play with us to get to that championship game. So our team was so much better in the fall than it was in the, than in the spring, and we still made it far. Does that make sense? All right. Um, um, next point, no matter what we always talk about and everything we just talked about, there, there's always a process that is required. Make sense? Um, obviously for school, it's a lot easier for some than others. Some have to put in a lot of effort to get better grades where some don't have to put in as much effort and still have good grades. I was a guy that had to put in amples and amples of time just to get a good grade, while my teammate who's sitting beside me gets a better grade than me and he studies half the time, right? So everyone's different, but we gotta make sure we understand there's always a process. Um, to achieve goals and all that, right? Um, but yeah, um, one thing I want everyone to make sure they know is if you don't know what your goals are, it's okay, not a big deal. If you want help with it, just come ask me or any of the other coaches and we can help set you guys up for goals, all right? If you know your goals, but no, don't know what process you need to take to achieve, again, just come ask, right? If you don't know the process, then you trying to achieve that goal isn't going to happen as quickly as you want it because you're going to have to detour on everything and all that. That makes sense? Um, yeah, but... One more really, really important thing. Goals are always changing. They're, con 
They're consistently changing. They should not. They shouldn't always be the same. Long-term goals can stay the same, depending on what it is, right? Um, like when I was a kid, when I was your guys' age, MLB was my goal. I got to midget, and I got to the 18U level, and I knew there wasn't a chance I was going to get drafted out of high school. So I had to change that long-term goal and go, okay, I'm going to do it through college. Right? Then I got to college, hurt my arm in my second year. So now I had to rework work my goal again. Okay, now I just want to have a, a long college career as long as I can possibly play and healthy. Right? My goal has always changed. Um, but your short-term goals, it's just, a, it's just more of a step. Right? You get to one, you got to get to a next. Going up a long staircase. You're never done with the short-term goals. They always change. Every step is different. Does that make sense? So, uh, yes. Does anyone have any questions or comments they want to make right now? No. No? None? No one write one in? Okay. Oh, chocolate milk. So good. Um, so here's what we're going to do now. Everyone have a paper and pen by them? We're going to think of a long-term goal. You're going to write it down. It doesn't matter how long it is. If it's a year thing, let me know. If it's longer, also let me know. <laughs> Make sense? So think of one. Write it down. Give you guys a minute. All right, we have those written down. Okay. So now that's the main one. So now at the bottom of the sheet, and we're kind of gonna make it work. So it's bottom of the sheet is a short-term goal and everything we're listing is now going up towards the long-term goal. If you need help, just ask. All right. Is anyone willing to share what theirs are as an example? Xander? Or is yours? Um, one of mine is uh, make it to the Little League World Series. Okay. So that's your long term goal? Mm -hmm. okay. So what are some of the short-term goals you need? Uh, make it on the junior bucks team. 
Yeah. Anything else? Um, no. Okay. So I'll give you some help. A few things would be be more consistent of it on the mount. Does that make sense? Yeah. Be more consistent on the pitching mound. Uh, be more consistent in the batter's box. Um, work on my mental game, the mentality, right? How not to get upset when things happen. Um, right? Work on all that stuff. Those are little things as well. Good job. Anyone else have one they would be willing to share? Michael? Mine, mine is, my goal is to be the best baseball player along with MVP. Okay. So what are some short-term goals you'll have to do? Mm -hmm. Michael, what are some short-term goals you have to do? Uh, practice baseball, uh, practice pitching the ball. Yep. Okay. Good. Being as consistent as possible, right? Especially for everyone that needs to make sure they understand is the reason MLB players are who they are is because of their consistency, right? Talent can only take you as far as you can go, right? But if you're not going to be consistent, then you're not going to go as far. Um, uh, Coach Phil, on the last couple nights, have had a couple of former uh, Weyburn Beavers on with his 18U group. Um, That's a good one. I'll get to that in a second, Will. Um, that should be more of a short-term goal, though. <laughs> uh, one of them, his name was Chandler Casey. He is a currently playing uh, – he's currently training in Texas, uh, and he's part of the Houston Astros organization as a pitcher. Um, he, he didn't throw really that hard in high school and his mechanics weren't all that great either, right? He was a bit more of a thrower and everything, but as he continued on and he went to a Juco, started learning how to pitch it still major leaguers didn't look at him because he was still, ah, 92, nothing, nothing's too special about that. Okay, so then he moved on to a Division II school, one of the best ones in all of Division II baseball. Yeah, Lubbock Christian, and he learned to be more consistent with his pitching mechanics. And next thing you know, he was throwing 96 with sink about that much on his fastball. A slider that you couldn't hit unless you guessed. And by the time he was done his senior year, because he was so consistent and worked so hard and put on all the le extra little things that they need to do, he finally got drafted. That makes sense. All right. Now I'm going to go to you, Will. Long term goal put on five miles. Is that going to be, you want that as a year or every year? Okay. That's better. All right. Five miles every year should be more of a short term. It can be part of the long term goal, long term one for sure if it's every year. If you have a one where you want to, like you said, 
you're going to want to throw mid to high 90s. So as soon as that becomes your long-term goal, these are just more like mid, mid long-term goals. Every year I need to do this. Make sense? What are some of the little things that, what are the short, some short-term goals you need to do? Um, like do a lot of like drive line and uh, long toss to strengthen my arm. Absolutely. Anything else? And uh, keep my like arm in good shape. Yes. So that's good. Yeah. Um, a few other things would be working out, working out more often so you can put on some more muscle, good muscle too. If not, don't try to be a bulk and be on like those guys on TV that can't really wipe their butts because their arms are too big. <laughs> uh, eat more. So you can put on a little bit more weight so that you can have that strength then has somewhere to be. That makes sense? Perfect. Um, so we only have a couple minutes left. Um, does anyone have any questions? No? No questions? Okay. Um, again, these are your goals for yourself. You can share with them, share them with me if you want. If you need help setting up some some of them, absolutely let me know, and I can absolutely help set you some up with some of the short term goals. Right. We want to make sure you guys are capable of reaching that goal, long term goal that you're laying out there for yourself. That makes sense. All right, so um, hope everyone got a good sense of all this. And remember, you can do this for everything, not just baseball, right? As I said, you can do this for school. You can do this for work. As like me, I have to work. I have goals I always want to make sure I achieve. You can do weight room stuff. What do I want to do? Make sense? Um, but other than that, I got nothing else. Um, we have another Zoom meeting Sunday. It's going to be uh, with an alumni, two of them. Um, they're John Shields and Bauer Sewell. Some of you may know, some may not. Uh, they were on our Midget Black team last year. Um, they've been in our program since... John's been in the program as long as I was. I've been here. Uh, Bauer was a year after I got here. And they just came up through the whole program. They're going to come talk. With, they're going to come on and talk. They're now in college at a four-year school in Jamestown. Um, and they're going to come share their experience and everything. That makes sense? You guys have any questions you'll want to ask them? Uh, Write some down and be ready and be prepared. Other than that, you guys have a good night. We're about to get kicked off. So.